Hey guys, I'm Joe, this is Theojo Tech, and in this video I'm gonna compare USB and Thunderbolt, comparing which I think is the better one and which is gonna be the long-term contender. That's what this video is gonna be about. Now, USB, I don't think I have to explain. I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with it. It's a data transfer interface. And then Thunderbolt is also used for data transfer, but it's basically a combination of PCI Express and DisplayPort. So in addition to connecting computer peripherals and hardware, you can also connect displays to it. Now, USB 3.1 is the latest iteration of USB, although it isn't that common yet. In 2016, we're probably gonna see it become more common in more devices. Basically, USB 3.1 supports up to 10 gigabits per second of data transfer. Also in 3.1 is support for the new USB Type-C connector. This is a reversible connector, unlike any of the other USB uh, connectors previously. There's all, always the joke about you have to try to plug it in three times to get it right. And then also for Type-C, it supports up to 100 watts of power, so you can run a lot bigger devices off of it. Now, Thunderbolt 3 is the next version of Thunderbolt, and it supports up to 40 gigabits per second of data transfer. This is double the previous version, Thunderbolt 2, which was 20. So even Thunderbolt 2 was faster than 3.1. And the cool thing about Thunderbolt is that you can actually daisy chain devices together. So with one port, you can actually connect up to six different devices through one Thunderbolt input into the computer. And interestingly, the Thunderbolt 3 connector is going to be the USB Type-C connector. So how does that work? Well, Thunderbolt 2 actually used a DisplayPort connector, but Thunderbolt 3 wants to be more universal. So they're actually using the USB Type-C connector, and it's going to be compatible with USB 3.1 devices. So with a USB 3 cable and interface, you basically get three in one. You have the DisplayPort, for driving monitors. You have USB if it's just a USB device and then you also have the PCI Express for the maximum 40 gigabit per second data transfer if that device supports it. So you might be thinking that Thunderbolt right now appears to be better in every single way and really if you just look at the technology it pretty much is but there's one drawback and that is that it's proprietary. If a company wants to make a device that supports Thunderbolt, they have to pay a royalty fee or licensing fee to Apple every time they wanna use it. So if they wanna make a product, it's gonna be more expensive to make and therefore more expensive for the consumer. Now USB also has a licensing fee, but it's very small and pretty much just nominal. You also have to consider that most devices, consumer devices like phones are never gonna need 40 gigabits per second. So why would a company spend the extra licensing fee on a Thunderbolt interface if it's not required, if it's never gonna be used? I think Thunderbolt will have a place, but in most cases, USB is gonna be good enough and it's also much cheaper and also backwards compatible with other USB, so it's really universal. I think Thunderbolt is mostly just gonna be used for professional applications and instances where you really need that kind of speed. But in most cases, I'm pretty sure that USB is going to still reign as the universal connector. So those are just my thoughts and the comparisons between the two. As you can probably imagine, both of them are very good interfaces and Thunderbolt does have that huge advantage with speed, but USB is just so ubiquitous right now. And I'm curious what you guys think, so I'll look forward to hearing from you in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna check out some other videos, I'll put those on the right hand side. You can just click it or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I try to make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. And I'm always looking for feedback for new ideas. So I'll talk to you guys either in the comments section or on Twitter. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.